Hi everyone, uh, I'd like to uh, share the work that I'm uh, presently doing on the uh, combustion engine that I'll be testing the circuit and combination of uh, gasoline uh, vapors and water vapors to uh, feed into the uh, carburetor. And uh, the idea that I have, and I'm hopeful this will work, is the uh, GEET system. Uh, which is spelled G-E-E-T is a uh, wonderful system that a uh, inventor called pa Paul Pantone had uh, discovered and it's some kind of a plasma effect that happens in the exhaust and you're using the exhaust well, plasma effect happening between the exhaust and the intake an interplay between the two and uh, I had studied this system oh, probably some two years back and. I was really wanting to uh, build it, but never got around to it. Uh, anyways, I think that we can actually create the GEET effect right in the com combustion uh, cylinder. And that's what I'm hoping for. But I will be building a very similar uh, preparation of the water and fuel uh, into a vapor, a similar system that is used in the GEET. And um, I will want to try uh, sealing the engine between the exhaust and the intake and just having it uh, loop uh, back and forth. Uh, if I'm correct and you get the correct plasma happening, it will combust uh, completely uh, the fuel at 100% and it should be perfectly clean. And as the exhaust is coming out, if you're also circulating water, the water will uh, be uh, converting back to uh, water. <laughs> so that vaporized water will be uh, transformed back to water droplets and it will be reaccumulated. And here's how the system is going to be working. Uh, I've got this uh, clear uh, thick glass jar here that I picked up at a uh, store and it's a pretty heavy wall and it has a stainless steel uh, lid that screws on it uh, very tightly and it's got a nice uh, seal to it and um, these small uh, uh, gasoline engines this is a lawnmower engine a three horsepower around there um, have actually a half inch thread here in the exhaust and here's a half inch uh, plumbing uh, pipe here that I got at Home Depot and uh, you can just screw that thread right inside uh, that exhaust so I'll screw that in there and then I'll add a 90 degree right here sorry about the movement of the camera here uh, doing this all with one hand I found there's not a good view with just using a tripod. And then I thought of using these uh, two couplers here, and that's where my lid will have a hole uh, going right through this lid here, this jar. And on the other side, I'll have this piece here uh, joining, and the thread will be cut down so that once it starts compressing, the, it'll be compressing between the lid, and I'll put some Teflon seal around there. And then I've got this other pipe in there, which is now half-inch uh, copper pipe. And then the other idea here I have is utilizing this assembly here that I'll try to put together by hand here. And what this will be, it'll be the exhaust going down this tube at the bottom of that jar. That'll be sitting inside there, and I'll have that sized correctly. And all the, this, the, the exhaust will just circulate in here, come down and circulate around there. And all this will be perforated with many, many holes. And what that's going to do is I'll have water and gasoline mixed inside here. And that'll bubble up the exhaust, the air coming out of the exhaust will bubble up. And it'll start creating tons and tons of bubbles. And inside the jar, let me get this here, I'll have these uh, hot uh, scrubbers here um, filled up inside the jar uh, above the bubbling and the, the water 
And what will happen, all those bubbles will start breaking up onto the surface of this. And this has a lot of surface area, these those pot scrubbers. And what it's going to do is the, uh, the water and gasoline will very, very easily uh, change into vapor at that point. And on top of the jar, so that'll be resting in the bottom, and that'll be obviously here, connected here. So that'll be in that assembly there. And I'll have a pipe joining there as well. And for the carburetor, I've got this piece here that I've just quickly put together. So the same idea, this piece here comes apart and that'll be also in the lid there. And that's going to be taking the intake of those vapors inside the jar. And that will lead to the carburetor, which I'll use this uh, metal uh, steel epoxy. And uh, with this thread all around here, put that epoxy inside there and set this piece inside there. So we've got a seal on the intake of the carburetor. And then this pipe will obviously go in there. And now you're starting to see the complete assembly here. There we go. And now, sorry, I gotta pull that. I'm having a hard time here. All right, so there we go. We've got the inlet there and the pipe right next to the other one here. And that'll be uh, going through the, the lid of this uh, jar here. So, uh, so the idea will be the exhaust will be going down, bubbling the, uh, the, the air pressure of the exhaust will start making a lot of bubbles and a lot of activity. The bubbles will break on the surface of this and the vapors will be collected uh, through the lid, this a pipe attached to it, and going right back into the engine and starting the cycle over. Now, uh, at first, you're going to say, well, what about the gasoline? At first, all I'll do is I'll put the gasoline in here and start finding the different ratios of percentage of gasoline to percentage of water and finding the ideal areas and testing uh, capacitor size and voltage and all the different effects uh, with it. And uh, I'll also be working with uh, this, I'll be all removed and working with uh, adjusting the timing. And I believe that our ideal timings will definitely be after top dead center. And um, I'll have a whole uh, gizmo set up up there for uh, triggering the spark on the circuit. So that's what I'm working on at this time. And I just thought I'd do this quick video and share that with you guys. If any of you want to start also uh, trying to work on this and working parallel and uh, being able to uh, test this. You can find a gasoline, uh, an old uh, gasoline engine, probably pretty easy when you start looking for it. Uh, often the engines are still good and it's just the whole base that's rusted and people want to get rid of them because they're dangerous at that point. Uh, make sure you take off the blades <laughs> and uh, find an appropriate stand. I just put this on the box right now just to do this video demo, but find an appropriate stand to uh, fasten all this together and uh, hopefully uh, we can get this working. And the idea is to having this, uh, this is the basics of the GEET, uh, it's the same principle that the GEET uses, um, but they, uh, they, they're using the, the exhaust and putting the intake through the exhaust, another tube inside there, to uh, create this uh, kind of a plasma effect that changes that fuel and water into another state uh, of uh, hydrogen, I believe, that's in the fuel, and uh, it combusts in the cylinder. But I think we can do all that with our plasma spark right in the cylinder. So, but I love this idea still to uh, just keep a closed loop and just have it circulate back. And uh, the gasoline levels, once I find that out, then maybe we can add maybe an injector on the jar. It'll just be, you know, dripping or whatever, adding the fuel uh, slowly as it depletes. And that's if it even needs it. <laughs> 
So we'll see all that uh, soon. Thanks.